And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. Okay, you know, I, I give you a light. I tell you when the light goes off or a line. Uh, that means you start talking. Well, that's what I thought you meant, but now you're going to talk. Okay, but, go ahead. But once again, you saw the light. You were sitting there staring at the light. Yeah, the light went off. Now it's registering. Let's see, I'm blonde for a moment, but I'll figure it out here. Oh, <laughs> well, look at this. We've lost our feet already. What? Bam, like that. Really? And it's back. Oh, we're back? Who's back? I'm not really sure. This is just so... You know, you, people don't appreciate it. When we upload a video to YouTube, it's just no, straightforward. It's but when you go live, it's anybody's guess. It's like the television totally in the 1950s, you know? <coughs> really. I, I ran it for a half an hour, fine-tuning it so it would be perfect. And as soon as we go live live with uh, 200 people on, we get this. But it's still working, right? You still People still hear us talking? Right now it is. Well, listen, let's, let's just, paint fast. Let's paint fast, you How guys. fast can we paint so, today? So welcome to our, our, our live, Ginger Cook Live uh, acrylic Event. painting show today. This is our fun show. And we, we do a what Sunday afternoon. What do you mean this is our fun show? Well, they're all fun shows. But we do a fun show in, on, on Sundays because we have a lot of people that are, uh, what they say, across the pond or in Australia or, or around the world that uh, don't find 7.30 Central Time in the evening, <laughs> that great a time for them. So we've been just kind of fooling around, trying to find the best time for everybody and still work around, uh, you know, other friends that also broadcast on YouTube, make sure that we're, um, you know, that we're we're in sync with, with the world. We're at peace with the world and we're in sync. How's that? So in so just today we're going to be doing something more in a whimsical fashion. We're going to be doing a carousel horse. This is. I'm going to show you how to draw a horse. I'll have, we'll have it traceable on Pinterest afterwards if you don't find the drawing lesson all that helpful. Um, I think you will, though, because, I mean, horses are some of the things that are pretty easy to draw, particularly their heads. And a carousel horse can, you know, be a little more what we call stylized artwork. There's so many different kinds of artwork. And, you know, anything from photorealism to what they call stylized, or maybe you go to the uh, the store and you see a, a, a greeting card and you'll see some little fast little splash of watercolor or something a little cartoony. This is all types of art. And so just remember that you're going to at some point find your style. You may not like impressionist art with all the little dots or you may like it but just have no patience to paint it. Maybe you're one of these people that if it isn't every last detail isn't perfect, you're not happy with the painting. That's okay. Learn to do all these styles and at some point you'll maybe invent your own style that'll be a combination and that's what you're going for your own handwriting skills just like you know we could all write a paragraph on the chalkboard of say something like um, i don't know paragraph of something or other and like uh, <laughs> being a member of the ginger cook art academy art school is like the most awesome experience of my life you could write something like that but we would all have a different way of writing it on the board even though we all learned handwriting when we were probably in middle school so that's the same thing with art so it's not that you're trying to we're not forging um you know you're not trying to forge or make it exactly like mine but you you want to get the gist of the lights and the darks um you know proportions and so forth so that when you add your own touch um it's awesome because it's you we had someone today do a um one of our peacocks on the uh, that is in our art academy. She had a peacock, and instead of doing it on a blue background, she did it on orange. And oh my gosh, I never would have thought of that. I love it. I'm just telling you, you guys, your imagination is that you can think up a lot of great things. And uh, this is one of the things that we kind of, you know, we bounce off each other. So this is a great thing. So I hope you can bounce off me today and have fun with this carousel horse. That being said, now that you know how terrific we are, if you would be so kind as to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And do it that. quickly while we're not buffering at the moment. While we're not buffering. Make sure you have done that. That's just a nice thing. And if you want to like the video before we get going, that's okay too. Um, let's, John, if you would be so kind as to... Uh, I'm there. You're down on our... Uh, 
Here's our carousel horse, and he's on lots of, in fact, the shirt I'm wearing today sort of is reflective of the horse, isn't it, kind of? I found this shirt in the closet. I've got an apron on, going to try real hard not to get paint on it because it's not technically a painting shirt. However, I felt it needed to be worn to go with the horsey, okay? And this is a six by eight canvas. You may have heard us say this before. One of the things that John, John will do for me is when we have a leftover paint like this from a paint palette, what he will do is he will take these little uh, canvas sheets. They're not paper. This is not paper. Boy, if you guys try to paint on that all-purpose paper, there's nothing all-purpose about it. It's very frustrating. Uh, it's, if it says for, for acrylics, a lot of times it, um, what, they, what it is is it's, the paper is very absorbent, and you just don't get the same effect and think it's you. So really, this is real canvas sheets. A lot of times we paint on stretch canvas. And what, when we have some leftover paint, John will make these little backgrounds, then I come up with things to paint on them, like that. Uh, uh, and those are fun because really, you could have done a blue background on this or a red one, or we're going to do a brown one. And then one of our members uh, sent us uh, this, or said the idea of this. And this is a little sheet of plastic. Yeah, it's Tanya. Sold it Tanya about sent, sent us this. And what you do is you, um, you put some double sit scotch tape on it and kind of center your your picture in the middle and then these little they, this doesn't move now and I, we've used this dozens of times see it's good see <laughs> convinced right and uh, so then that's your underpainting if you need some color on there it doesn't really matter what okay and then we're going to go ahead and draw the horse on now i have a this is our fast traceable i'm going we may for the expediency of this just put that on i'm going to show you how to do that too but <coughs> let's take our chalk bar, board out and let's just break this down for you okay because sometimes if you understand shapes, that's all anything is. If you understand shapes, you you know, for a horse's head, this is his jaw, so you've got a circle, right? And then just a little bit above the circle, you've got like a cone shape, like an upside-down flower pot, right? You've got a circle, right? And then you've got, um, you know, you've got your ears coming back here, and then you've got all of this. And then his under the jaw here, if this was a clock, here's uh, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, right about five o'clock, okay? Come under here like this and then just bring your neck out. All right, does that make sense? So you're gonna, here's this, and then you're gonna just do a few little things like that, kind of refine the jaw, okay? And then here on your cone, you're gonna come down a little bit here and then maybe do the mouth like that. And then this is where the nose is gonna be. Here's your mouth. And then I like to give an eye. The eyeball is gonna be right here. Um, like a triangle, see that right there, like a triangle. And I want to give a little ridge where the eyeball is here on the other side. So then I might dish the nose out a little bit like this. And then here you've got some stuff like that. Here's your eyeball and here's this. Here's the little horse. Here's the mouth. Then you're going to do all of this. And um, voila, you've got a horse head. That is really a nice, clean blackboard. I know. Thank you, John. And then here's the, the this is the a nose band goes over the nose like that. And then he's got a cheek band that comes around the ear so he doesn't go away, come like that. And then he's got this bit that's coming out here like this. And then down here like this. And your imagination is the sky's the limit, you guys, on the, something like this. Okay. So that's basically how you're going to draw that in. Does that make sense? The ears are going back. Okay. So now that you know, I'll show you another quick way. If you didn't have Sorel transfer paper, which is what we normally tell people to get, we have a link on our website um, and even on Facebook with the uh, affiliate link on how to do this under resources. And this is, comes with five colors, and you just it works like an old carbon old car colored carbon paper. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, you didn't have none of that. Like that, you didn't have none of that. I want none of that. I'm over here in. Um, um, the middle of the Sahara Desert, and they don't sell transfer paper here, and I've got some, I want to know how to do this. So, so one thing you can do is you can draw your own horse on a piece of paper, and then, you know, get the best drawing you can, and then transfer that drawing, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just show you. What you do is you take a piece of soft chalk, and you rub it on the back of your paper. Now, I think this is important because... Um, you, you don't sometimes, and I'll tell you this, you, I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the transfer paper doesn't work. 
It Did you say that? It doesn't work. Sometimes you'll have so much pain on the canvas, you can't get that transfer paper to work if your life depended on it. In fact, I had that happen one time when I was working at uh, teaching art at Jerry's Art Store, and I went through every kind of transfer paper they had. We couldn't transfer this gal's drawing onto her picture, and finally we just gave up and did chalk. The chalk always works, okay? So then you would take a piece of cotton, absorbent cotton ball or something, and do this. Not your fingers. Come on, you guys. What's wrong with you? And then you're going to do... <laughs> two coats, and then the, the color of the chalk depends on, and this is new pastel chalk, but any old soft chalk will do, see? Make sure you have it at least far enough to do that, and then you sort of blow that off and make a total mess. It's just great. See, then your hands look like this, but then you take your nifty tub of towels, which we are so happy to have now. I've, they sent me a case. I've been saying so much about this stuff. They said, yeah, we'll send you some. Mention us once in a while. I said, I'm always mentioning you guys because you're my favorite cleanup. You're my go-to cleanup people. And guess what they sent me, you guys? They sent me three little tub of, of sample tub of towel wipey things here. Well, I've got packages of these. We're going to give away three today at the end of the show as part of our giveaway. I wish it wasn't going to do a giveaway, but we had already mentioned it somewhere, so we kind of had to do it. Um, so we're going to do a little, at the end of the show, we're going to do another little fast 10-minute painting and give that away, and then um, also, um, for, well, the person that wins the painting, they'll get one of these, and then two other people will get these uh, little um, sample tub of towel things. And one of our members wrote and said that what she does is, I, is she lets them, um, uh, when they dry, she'll re-wet them, and she says they work again, which is really interesting, because they've got lanolin and vitamin E, there's no smell, they're really nice. That's what I used to clean the blackboard. And that's how John cleaned the blackboard. You saw how I, nice that was. All right, so we, we, should, we should be pretty good here. Now, uh, also, here's another secret when um, uh, doing something like a transfer like this. You want to tape it down, okay? You want to tape it down. And the other thing you want to do is um, make sure that if you're using it, if you're transferring, say, on card, on, uh, say, like, like on canvas, like, like on canvas, and it's not, and you find it's not working. Stick a piece of cardboard back here. If the surface is hard enough when you push, sometimes that will work. Incidentally, this is one of the releases we did this week on our Art Academy website, and I'm very excited about that. It's part of our kitchen series, and this is an eight by ten. And I think I love. Look at all the colors in these peaches. Isn't that great? So this was this week's Art Academy. It's called uh, Summer Kitchen, and uh, just so many different paintings that we're doing, and. If, very pleased to tell you that that's available. And our, um, we've had a lot of signups uh, for Academy this week. We have a, about um, four more days. I think uh, Friday, you know, th Thursday at midnight is the last time anybody can sign up and be guaranteed personal art coaching. Of course, you can always sign up anytime and get access to our lessons. And we add a new lesson every week. We have over 375 in our virtual lesson library. But uh, the, what, after that, which the, we call video lesson library the, for the common folk. Video lesson library, yeah, that's it. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, um, so what? What that means is when you have a what someone says, well, what is that for personal <coughs> art coaching? Well, it's where you send me a, in a ticket system. You send me your picture, and then I uh, bring it into the computer, and I and I uh, film literally from the computer, literally from the computer, my voice and suggestions, and might even take it over to my drawing tablet make a few suggestions, and tell you how you might expand on the painting that you've got now, make it better. And sometimes having a professional artist look at that can make all the difference in the world. So um, anyway, that's a good thing and to do. And then and when we say waiting list, like if somebody has to drop out. Now, just yesterday, somebody dropped out that had been with us uh, for the last four years. They, um, they had a stroke, and they, couldn't, um, they can't paint anymore. I'm very sorry we lost that person to, you know, that, that lost the ability to paint. But I mean, but again, that's a, when somebody drops out like that, you know, then what will happen is um, the first person on the waiting list that, that's a member that's on the waiting list um, will then, then be moved up and then added to the personal art coaching queue. So the other thing is, is that current members are guaranteed their personal art coaching. If you've never um, dropped out, if you've never... Uh, not been part of our academy. As long as you say part of our subscribers, I'm looking for a pen, that's what I'm doing here. As long as you're part of our subscribers, then you know, you're know you fine and you don't always need personal art coaching, but every once in a while you may find that you, the more you, the better you get and the more you learn, the more you find that you may not need it. 
But um, when you do need it, it's nice to know you can just send it to me. And our members can send in one a week and then one original painting, something they, they did on their own that's not part of the YouTube lessons or our Academy lessons and get help too. So there's my speech. And look, I'm using a green pen uh, because I want to see where I've been. And let's just, let's just test it and see if it's working. Is it? Yeah, kind of. All right, I'm going to push pretty hard. Let's see if that's working. Yeah, that's working. Now, I'm telling you, chalk is like your, you know, your, um, uh, really a, a good thing. Uh, because, and again, you can push pretty hard. Um, and, uh, You don't need a lot. I'm telling you, there's very little that you need on this uh, as far as a trace. You know, you really, I feel you could just trace this out awfully easily. Just got to tell you guys that. And again, push push hard with your pen. Make sure that you've got it. And that's that's all there is to it, isn't it? That's pretty simple, isn't it? And, uh, you know, wow. Okay, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. I think that's that was the drawing I started out with. And I think I just uh, expanded on that a little. Sometimes when I'm painting things, I'll uh, I'll I'll make a few adjustments. You know, I'll, I'll make sure that I have you know just a few few more adjustments like that. And I want to make sure that I've got this eye up here where I want it, kind of this triangular eye here. All right, so there's going to be our carousel horse like this. And uh, here we go. So that's all we need for that. Okay, that's kind of cool, right? And uh, I think I want to move this back just even a little bit more than I had it. I'm going to come back here a little bit with this. It's going to make the horse a little bit bigger than I did it. Okay, there we go. What did Ginger say that sticks her canvas on to hold while she paints? This is double stitch, stitch stick scotch it tape. It should be right next to it. I don't think I moved it over there. Is the little holder still there? To your right? Or do you clean up things? I never clean up. What are you talking about? Right Here. Yeah. This stuff. It's poster tape. It's poster tape. Repositional poster, Repositional poster tape. Oh, okay. So it's I lied. A little bit more forgiving. It's a little bit more forgiving than double stick. Okay. Repositional poster tape. Well, that's a much better information, wasn't it? So thanks, John, for that. All right. So let's just um, uh, let's give that the old heave ho. If we should probably give that away, Don. Don't you think? Hard to know. Well, you can tell us if you want. Someone wants it. All right. So now here's our um, palette. I don't. I think for the purpose of our picture, we can then move the the tape tape, right? And of course you want, for most things, you always want to use artist tape when you're taping down your artwork or needing straight lines. And the reason you want artist tape, and that's the brand too, is because um, it doesn't pull your paint loose. So wow, that's that's fun to know. And for those of you who are excited about, um, you know, Academy members and you you want to do a collection of car carousel horses, one of our first videos was this one. of, of These are two carousel horses. And um, and that's one of our, I think that's like a two cookie lesson. It's done pretty simply. And we had one gal that's our member and she did this as a wedding present for somebody and put the name of the couple on, on, on the horses there. This honey is my granddaughter in case you're wondering. Um, and so, you know, that might be fun too. So if you're into carousel horses and you think you are, want to do that, that might be a fun thing. Move the, this all out of the way. Now I think we're probably for the most part just using three brushes today. We're using these Ruby satin silvers. This is a three eighths inch, a quarter inch, and a, what is this? What are you? Five eighths. One half. That's a half oh, inch. Half. half inch. Half inch. Half so inch. I bought a five eighths, but I rarely use it. I'm telling you, it's just for the most part, I rarely use it. I have one, but I find that I'm not using it. Okay. So I think before we want to get too much further. Somebody saying, "Wait, I thought the academy was full." Well, no, you have till June first. To, to, to get to get in to get in personal art coaching yeah, but you can always be a member of the academy but you can't you know I mean we can have thousands and thousands of people in the academy accessing the lessons but you want personal art coaching for me we're full for that and so after June 1st you'll be on a waiting list and then you just have to say well I'd like that but again 
uh, and because we have to, we get told our members from the first day they signed up with us and stayed with us for years that they would always have personal art coaching. So we factor that in, even though they may not send us stuff that often, right? Uh, we appreciate the fact they're members, and also we guarantee their price. So people that bought came into the academy three years ago are paying less than someone that, say, joined it today. And people that are going to join it next year are going to find the prices have gone up again, too. And personal art coaching would have gone up. So, you know, it's all a matter of uh, there's only so many hours a day, so much time we can devote to, you know, to this and give a good job and give a really good service and give quality. I'm telling you what, when I see the results that come back from personal art coaching, I'm so blown away by the talent that's being brought out in people. I mean, just extraordinary. <coughs> And I tell you what, you know, it's it's just it's really nice to have a second set set of eyes. And the thing is, you don't really want to rely on your family and friends because they're just going to tell you nice things. Not that I won't tell you something nice, but I'm going to tell you probably two or three things to make it better. How's that? And one more thing, mm. if you're a current member of like a VLL or a Wave and Water, and you want to add one of the other programs to still get personal art coaching as long as you stay active, you can switch back and forth between the two different programs or join them both. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll work with you. Saw by. And quite frankly, I feel so bad about that lady with that had the stroke that had to quit that we'll probably just put her right back in, you know, you know, because I just that's just terrible. So anyway, um, we're just that way. We're just that way, you know. We're we're not. You know, it's our company. We can be. We we're the nice first. That's what our motto is. Nice first, right? Yeah. So we're gonna put a little white paint out. I want some purple. Um, I want some phthalo blue. Some yeah, ultramarine blue. That, uh, what? Something something for the camera to focus on over there has been going nuts with this that gray sitting there. Yeah, so here's some white. Um, let's see, we want a little cad red medium. Oh, up some magenta. That's oh you always want all the good colors with carousel horses. And of course, you can you know, I did a, a red um thing here, but you know, you could do a different color too. It could be gold. I mean, th at this point I want you to kind of learn how to paint it in and then what can you do? What can you do to sort of jazz it up right so uh let's uh let's see we want a little bit of burnt umber because you start off with a brown so we'll put a little burnt umber we don't need too much and we want some yellow and i wish i'd turn that fan on over there john this one over in the corner i knew it i knew it i'm starting to you know this you whisper is my command oh that's perfect don't you love that you guys okay we're getting down to it now we're getting down to i want to thank judy guitar for She's one of our moderators and friends and been an Academy member, one of our early Academy members. She's the gal that sings the song at the end of the show. She's been looking around for good sales for every for, for our uh, Ginger Cook um, Acrylic Club on Facebook. She, she posts the sales every weekend, tells you where the deals are, and she really spends some time and look for that. And it's been for, you'd think for Memorial Weekend that... Um, there'd be something. And one of the things she brought to our attention is that somebody was having a sale online, a two for one. And then when you went Michaels. to Michael's, and then when you went to do that, put it in your cart, it didn't, they didn't have it. Well, then apparently you can call up and then they'll fix it. But you know, if you figure, and I think I'm right on this, I would say that at least 75% of the artists that, you know, buy from them are female, right? And that, um, and probably a good percentage of those are, um, over 50, um, you know, that's the demographics, really, because retired people have more time to paint, and not everybody's computer savvy. I'm pretty sure they're banking on the fact that most people aren't going to bother to call them up. They're just, a, they're just a, you know, it's a, it's a fast leader. They say, look, we've got a sale. You go get the sale, and there's no sale. But, um, you know, look at uh, Call them up. D call them up. Don't let them get away with that, because that's just, um, you know, that's just cheesy, and, and um, you, you know, I don't care, you can c complain to Visa and everybody else. I would just, you know, those are privileges that they have, their Visa and MasterCards and stuff like that, and, and uh, when you don't, anyway, you know what I'm saying without me saying much more, right? But you can see I feel very strongly about this. Some years ago, I had a friend, I wrote this on Facebook, some years ago, I had a friend that uh, had Texas Workman's Comp, and he had a heart attack on the job in this condo that we'd hired him as a property manager. And workman's comp wouldn't pay him. Okay, they said that it didn't count because he was do he was doing some real heavy outdoor work and had a heart attack. And finally, you know, it took him about six months of rigmarole, and they finally paid him. And then later, somebody confided him him 
that um, they generally, uh, their policy was to deny most claims, figuring if you had a heart attack, you were going to die or be too sick to fight them. Well, you know, that not, that's just not nice, right? What, you know, that's not nice. That was phthalo blue, in case you were wondering what that was. Um, Between the phthalo nice. blue, Do you think that's nice? Is the phthalo that, blue and the red, is that the burn umber? That's burn umber. This is cad red medium. Is this purple is yellow. Out? And the purple's not out yet. We're looking for purple. But you know, you know, we're on a purple quest, but I put everything in a box. I got so tired of looking for things. I put everything in a box with just those paints. Oh, here's but, an interesting comment. What? How come my red undercoat is wiping off when I wipe the chalk? It's been there for weeks. Greater the paint? What kind of paint did you use? I yeah. would ask that. Lou Ann, what kind of paint is that? What kind that? of paint are you using? You know, student grade paint, we had, I had somebody send me in an art pack today. She sent me in this one painting of this water lily, and she's using these uh, student grade paints, and she just wasn't getting the colors. Now, sometimes you, if you use too much water on your paint, I don't do my underpaintings with any water. It's just You paint. don't do the underpaintings. Who does the underpaintings? Well, I've done them. <laughs> <laughs> I've done them. I don't use water. Do you use water, John? No. No. And so Very little no, if I They're ever not do. coming off. The end. Look, they're not coming off. No, they don't come off. No, so ours are on permanently. You know, but I guess in the and and you know if you wanted to know what you could do, I suppose you could just hit it with some spray varnish and let it dry. You know, if it just seal it, you could. Um, but it, then then you're gonna have to paint over your chalk. All right, so here we go. Um, yeah, too much water. That's not a good thing. Okay, hey, I'd like to thank Sandra for the donation that came through PayPal. Look at that. Taking care of us, Sandra. Oh, listen, we want to thank everybody for these donations. You know, we do the live shows. We thank you so much for um, for that. And, you know, we, you can only, if you're, do, if you're doing it on, on YouTube, you can only do it during a live show. But anytime you guys feel like you're going over to our website and hitting the um, scholarship button, it's our scholarship button. It's right there on the top. John will put the link in. This is a nice thing. I mean, it just, again, we're buying the paints, the canvases, uh, the brushes. We're buying all that. And um, I'm not buying tubble towels anymore. I'm excited about that. And, and I got to and, and I gotta hand it to the brushguys.com because they give everybody a 5% discount that uses my name, Ginger Cook, gives me a 5% discount too. I have, you know, we'll tell, tell you about any deal we find anywhere. If I like a product, whether they give it to me or not, I'll tell you because I feel like you ought to know. But I'm um, like the town crier like this. But nonetheless, you got to thank the people that kind of help you out. So, oh, John and I were looking around for prices. I started to say this about what Judy was found. Well, the other thing we found was that Art Wholesale Supply, which is owned by Jerry's Art Arama, I think it's like $100 a year to join. $99.95. What is it? Ninety nine ninety five dollars To join, to become, it's like $10 <coughs> a month then or a little less. Here's the thing. The prices were just hugely different. Really, really different. The shipping charges were different. And... Um, and because uh, where there might be a Jerry's in your hometown, chances are that you're not gonna you're not gonna hit with it. You're not gonna get hit with the tax on the order either. Because it's not Jerry's. Because it's not a Jerry's. Even so, though it is. Even though it is. Okay, and it's like a block away from there. It's like they share the same warehouse kind of thing. But they call one art wholesale supply. Or isn't that what they call yeah. it? Yeah. Art so, wholesale. Something is it? A W A S. A that's WASW dot com. ASW. ASW Art Supply. Art Supply Wholesale Club. Art Supply Wholesale Club. So it's like a, you know, you become a member, but I mean that is a good deal. Though they don't sell golden, but they have other stuff that they sell on sale. So you might, you know, um, and if you have, I'll tell you the other thing too is consider getting together with some artists in your in your you know in your neighborhood. If you know some friends, do a joint order. You know. Hmm. Combine them. Combine them, and then combine you can really get it. Combine and save. So we always tell people that's a good way. All right, let's just do a little, uh, let's just take the smaller brush, this 3 8 inch, and we're going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of cad red medium and a little bit of phthalo blue. We're going to make a kind of a, a blue-gray color like that. And then I'm going to add a little more phthalo blue, maybe a little burnt umber over here. There's a couple of colors, maybe a little purple in this. There we go. That's nice. So I'm going to just come in here to the horse, and I'm just going to start with a coat of paint. We have to start with something, don't you agree? Have so to. We have to have something on here. So let's paint that as we're talking. And you'll notice that I'm getting all the paint off the brush, kind of turning it on one side and the other. I'm not worrying if the paint is exactly 
uh, the same color throughout. That doesn't, I don't really care. Okay, and I'll probably stretch this out a bit. I'll put this eye in later, kind of know where it goes. And um, now I'm out of paint. Do you see this? So instead of putting water in that, you guys, I'm going to get a little bit more paint like that, a little bit more of the, there you go, a little bit of the white here, a little tiny bit of the red and the purple. There we go. And just I'm going to come on down here like this. And because um, we, well, again, we just, we just need some color on this, um, on this horse, I think it's going to be kind of fun. Just kind of get loose and free. Got to do that. Since loose we are experiencing free. a lot of buffering issues that's not coming from our end that I can tell, you might want to just sit back, enjoy, and watch this because when it gets put back together by YouTube, you won't have the buffering issue. You just, you'll have jumps in it now and then, but it'll be smooth. Okay, here's our ear coming back like that. Because he's a racehorse that's laying down. Well, he says his, his, his ears are back because he's Cause fierce. He's fast. He's fierce. He's fast. He's fast yeah. and fierce. Okay, fast, he's a little fierce horse. See, I think I was going to do magenta too. As I recall, I had some plans to do that. I didn't get it out yet. So here's a little magenta. Incidentally, did you know that Liquitex caps will fit golden caps and are much easier to use? So don't ever throw away your Liquitex caps. They go right back on a golden paint too. Good to know. Um, okay, so make this a little more purple, add some, uh, little, put a little more magenta in that, add some of that color as we get down <coughs> toward the bottom. And okay, here I want to just say that here's his jaw. This is all still wet. It's kind of fun to do. And um, oh, we've got some great announcements to make. With just, um, you, some of you may remember that last year, about last summer, I think, is when John and I. Decided that we were going to hit here. We were going to hit hit uh, Vancouver and Alaska, and so next week, Friday, we're going to be traveling up to or flying up to Vancouver, and we're going to jump on a ship and do Alaska and all of that stuff. Okay, so we have been like crazy people getting new images for our academy I members say... and our YouTube friends, so that you would not be without videos while we're gone. And we didn't want you to forget us, okay? Uh, but this was very important to us. I want to just wind that. I'm going to let that dry for a second. Let me just show you what we were. Uh, let me just show you as we speak. Where did they go? I just had them. You had them. It's not funny. Oh, here. Just a different side. All right. So here's some. Now, now I know we've got this. Let me just move this carousel horse out of the way and let you see this one while well, it's still dry. I know this is, this is a pretty easy lesson. This You all should get this easily. When you see this one come up, don't panic, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to do a glass of water, a, um, a little pot, and some garlic. This is the type of lessons we do in our academy, only larger. I think you, you can dab your toe in this, see if you like this type of painting. If you do and you need some help with it, now's the time to get your personal art coaching slot lined up. So there's that one. I know that's probably a lot more than we normally put on YouTube. I found this one I loved. Look at this, you guys. This is called, where's my black uh, paper here? Didn't I have a black paper? You gave me a piece of black paper. Yes, I did. You did. Gosh, well, never mind. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh. All right. Let's go this way. Because we got paint on. This is called, now don't you love this? You zoom in on this. This is, this is from one of our old dead guys, Sicily, I think was her, what's his name. This is, was it Sicily that did this one? I don't know. I have it in the video. I forget now. This is Mrs. Potts and her dog, Madame Potts, Madame, Madame Potts and her dog, Shep, an impressionistic one. Isn't that fun? And it kind of reminded me of the other one we did with the lady with the dog and the, that uh, that Mary Cassette did on with the dog and on the lap and the chair. So I thought these would kind of go together, wouldn't they? Isn't that great? So that this is that that's coming up. Um, you know, look for that lesson on YouTube. And then for those of you who feel you cannot get enough flowers, we've got this great uh, garden scene that's going to be coming up on YouTube. Look for that. We're going to do a lot of releases. And we what we're going to ask you guys when you see these, you know, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, save these in your playlist. Give us a shout out to the world. We appreciate it very much. There's that. And uh, okay, now some of you are going to go, I don't know about this one, but look, this one I'm going to show. This is this old tree, 
old kind of desert tree, but I'm going to show you how to get this background in a new different way. It's kind of a surprise way to get this background. I think you, you know, and again, we've got, you know, I'll show you how to do the gradated sky, though we do have a video just on that on YouTube. So that's kind of different, a little bit different than the, than the pots. And then, um, let's see, got one, two more to show you. Okay, so this one is, uh, there's another one coming up. I'm telling you, we're going to be releasing a lot of videos here during the week. And this one is a, a scene from uh, uh, California, Southern California. And I'm going to show you uh, how to take a photograph and turn it into a painting with an orange undertone background. And I think this is really, really charming. It's another one of these landscapes because people, again, we get people that are saying, yeah, I got a lot of landscape, a lot of flowers. Have you, do people ever paint anything else? Yeah, we do. And several have that. This will be on YouTube. And uh, you're thinking, not just the Academy. And then, as a great surprise, what we wanted to tell you was we've decided that every month, even though we do our art auctions four times a year, every month we're going to have a art auction piece of the, of the month. And it will one piece on, on our gingercookauction.com, okay? And we'll do one, every month we'll have one painting, and it'll be on there for 30 days, and, and at the, you know, be June 1st, and at the June 30th, um, that will be the end of the auction. And so if you guys like, if you've enjoyed the auctions and you just want to put your toe in the water with that, here's that. And this is going to be our auction piece. And also, and I thought this, uh, that this beach scene would be very nice. We'll release that sometime while we're gone. The first week in June while we're gone, this will be released in case you want to get this done for Father's Day. I just thought this looked like a great Father's Day painting. But and the, and again, oh, and we'll have this, uh, in this original uh, painting will be in the auction will be our June That'll be auction. our first, first, first auction. First, first monthly auction, auction. For the monthly auction, okay? For one painting a month, one original painting a month for auction. What do you guys think of that? Is that nice? I like okay. it. So I think it's great. Those, those, and then for those of you who are wondering, well, what else are you painting here? Well, I give up. What else are we painting? We are painting. Now, where'd that one from Judy go? Where's well, Judy? They're asking about our feathered friends. Do you have that Yeah, one? this is next week. Uh, this is this coming week. Uh, this is our Feathered Friends. This is the release for our video lesson library for this week. It's our, our, our uh, birds. And don't you love the way they make a heart shape? We, we call these lovebirds. We understand, you guys, they're, they're not sparrows. really lovebirds. They're sparrows, but they're in this sort of, uh, we think it's great. Where's that one I had a friend that I did of Judy's? Oh, it's up. Where did it go? I, you, I brought you, it out. You got it. I did. Do you need adult supervision? Uh, apparently, I do. Maybe it's here. Wait, wait, is it here? Yes! <sighs> wait till you see this. And this was. Okay, so look, check this one out, you guys. This is Judy Guitar's fault. She said, I, because I, I said, hey, what would you like to learn to paint? Judy said, I want to learn how to paint this. So this is another one of our old dead artists. And John may zoom in on that. Look at the fly. Honest to God, the, this crazy artist, uh, uh, Boucher, um, he was Dutch. He put the. Boucherette or Boucherette, something or other, uh, Ambrose Boucherette Ambrose. or something. He, he lived, get this, a hundred years after Columbus. This is like old, 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 right? <laughs> like really talking about dead, this is really old. However, look at this beautiful glass jar. Isn't that cool? This is a video lesson library, um, probably a three cookie lesson. And um, we put that. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want to put the fly well, in there. We had a butterfly to go with the fly. But you have a butterfly. And we, there, you know, we think there's a snail in the in the, yeah, in the there jar. There was a snail in the picture, but I was just so over the bugs. <laughs> if you want to put a snail in there, knock yourself out. You can. We'll give you the link to look him up, and you can put the snail in the water. Though, oh my gosh, you guys. Um, but anyway, I love how he painted this and these uh, special tulips that you just find in Holland. You don't see those so much, these variegated ones in the United States, but you still see those in Holland today. Now, remember, this is how we painted this glass jar. jar um, oh. You know, But there's a lot of different ways to paint glass, isn't there? This is water. Of course, this is some sort of swamp water, okay? Sorry. <laughs> just, you know. It's but swamp just, water because it has a snail in it? Yeah. Probably just got it right out of the pond, right? Because he thought there would be nutrients for the flowers. He's probably right too. Probably right too. But anyway, these are. This is just way cool. This is way cool. So Academy YouTube, think about this. And you want help for all with help with all this stuff? Then become an Academy member. 
where you can get some help. How's that? So that's my, I felt like we needed to do the commercials early. All right, now this is dried, so let's keep going. All right, so rinsing the brush, and then when you rinse it, kind of wipe it off. I left that set out there a little too long in the kind of, see the white kind of dried in it. That's okay. All right, I'm going to take a little Dosney purple and a little um, uh, red, uh, you know, cad red medium, okay? And a little bit of ultramarine blue, I think. I want to come up here onto the the background and just give this, um, just kind of paint the background in. Now my brush is damp, but that's okay. I wiped the, the majority of it off. And if you did an orange background, just let some of that show through. Okay. And this is where you can kind of, you know, shape your horse a little bit. When you do the background, you can do a little refining on the horse's head. You know, when I was a kid, I had a pony named Buster. Cinnamon had a pony named Whiskey, but I had, and they looked very much alike. When I was a kid, I had a po pony named Buster, and he was a little Welsh Shetland pony. And um, we used to, uh, I, and I lived, and we, my parents had, I don't know, about 10 acres there in Bellevue, Washington, before, it, before this was be, before Microsoft, way before. We lived out in the sticks, really. Um, and my dad, who was a judge, would uh, had an hour commute almost every day to, uh, to work to get to across the floating bridge into uh, Seattle. And then I, I went to some sort of private school in Seattle and I had a bus that took us almost two and a half hours to get to school in the morning because the bus had to pick up everybody that lived anywhere on the way to school. And, and if I felt lucky to get a ride in with my dad when I was a kid, because then uh, it was like an hour and not two hours. And then it was, you know, I would get home way after dark. It was really something. But anyway, so one of the things we used to do on weekends, and we would play with Buster the Pony, watch all our Saturday afternoon shows, cartoon shows, and then act them out with all the neighborhoods. We all kind of, he was our main main squeeze there, our pony. So, okay, so you can kind of see this was this is going fairly quickly, yeah? And um, now, let's see, I guess I could have, let's see, I'm going to make sure that when you rinse, you'll always get a little bit of water in there. Let's... Um, I want to put his nostril up here like that. I'm going to come up here about like this. It's a, like a little triangle eye like this. There you go. I'm going to put that in there like this. And just put some of this in here like that. Give it a little bit more ear here. There we go. All right. So now let's put a little bit of uh, stuff on the horse. Could probably lighten this up a bit. I'm going to just do. A um, little bit lighter here on his head, and I want a little bit lighter above his eye, something like that. Okay, and then as I add more white, any questions I can answer, John? As long as we're yeah. doing this, Kim Sim or Kim Song to you. Is there a tutorial for the beach fence painting? Is she not listening? And she's a moderator. Hey, speaking of moderators, we'd like to thank each and every one of our moderators today. We have Kim Sim and. Elizabeth yeah, these, and those, Mona, and Judy, Tanya. Yeah, thank you, you guys. And listen, hi, hey, Mona. Mona, Mona just shared a picture of her new art studio that she made in her house. And we're house. all jealous. We're all jealous. She's such. She's so neat. She's a sock she holder. She is a sock sure. holder. Oh yeah. And yeah, you know. Okay, going back to Kim Sim's question. Yes, Kim. Why we why we are gone? That will be released. Yeah, we're releasing all those while we're gone, and there will be a tutorial because we're gonna. We think we'll release that next week. That'll be probably next Monday is when I intend to release that one. People but don't hold us to it because we haven't finished yet the schedule. We have to finish the schedule, but we want to get it in time if you want to do that for Father's Day for somebody, you know, like your dad, right? <laughs> or somebody. Well, that would be somebody. That'd be somebody, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, now I want a little bit of phthalo blue and white and a tiny bit of yellow, and I want more of a turquoise blue color, kind of a blue green color. Put a little bit of yellow in that. I want to come up here like this. We're going to start jazzing up the colors here. Look, these are very loose brush strokes. You see that? I was say, it's a very loose style. This is a this is this is really loose. You just um, uh, what can I take away and not ruin the effect kind of style, right? And I like that color here. One of the things I want to do is just kind of add that's kind of scribble some of that color into the background. And the reason I'm doing <laughs> that is that um, um, it's it's you you want to get the excitement of the carousel. All right, that's what you're going for here. The excitement of the carousel. And uh, again, I want it a little bit lighter where the eye is here. And uh, 
the little dot right there, and a little bit lighter around his nose. And then let's see, we've got some toothies here somewhere, but I want to put a little red dot in the nose here too. Maybe John thinks it makes him a little evil to give him a red eye, but I kind of like that too. And here's the side of his hey, mouth. Hey, it's yours. You know, you can play with eyes any, any number Sweet of ways. Sweet Sugar right? Cube must be a new member because what's a sock folder? Um, a sock folder, there's two kinds of artists we, we tell people. There's two kinds of artists. If you're one of those people that when you get your socks out of the laundry, you fold them, chances are it's, it's very hard for you to do loose paintings because you want very everything hard. pretty. Very hard. It's impossible. You, you, want them, you want them too perfect. You're going to just, you want, you want logic and order to your life. Okay? And for those of us that, you know, that, that, that just say, well, let's just buy white socks and throw them in the drawer or, you know, just buy two different colors and then grab three. It's bound to be okay somewhere, right? Okay, now look, we're going to just start <coughs> turning this, kind of lifting up here with the with the mane. Isn't that pretty? I'm telling you what, you just sit here with this angle brush and push and lift, push and lift, and kind of twist it around. Okay. Hey, we'd like to thank Two World Swings for the donation today. Two World Swings, you guys are so awesome, and you donate a lot, and we really, really appreciate it, that. And uh, and I want you to know that uh, John and I scholarship about three people this week, and we thank you very much. A lot of times that either goes for art supplies or it helps with scholarshiping other people. So you, you, you don't know the lives you touch when you help us with that. So now, look, it's coming down like this. Now, just for those of you who are not familiar with horses, as their mane goes down their neck, there's more of it. How's that? And so in a carousel horse... They're always kind of carved, and so we're just going to... Is there a new newsletter out yet? Newsletter no. will be coming out, I'm going to say, tomorrow. It's going to be a quick one. That's kind of a reminder that the PAC personal art coaching are going to go on a waiting list and a few some little snippets, but it's going to be a quick one. Yeah. So if you have not received our newsletter in the past, make sure you add newsletter at gingercooklive.gallery to your contact list and or start looking in your spam and junk folder for it yeah do that you should do and all if of you that. have signed up you need to verify it's a double entry meaning that you signed up and you're going to get an email from us saying hey did you really want to do this to confirm it if you are not confirmed you will not get it and i've have close to 200 of non-confirmed emails You know, it's funny. John is one of these people, as a sock folder, every day he reads his email. Extraordinary. I mean, every you know, day. I tell you, and I, I laugh. All day I, long. You know, you know, for God's sakes, don't try to message me on Facebook because I never read that stuff. You can, I'll read your posts. I just barely get on there to read people's posts. So just don't be doing that, right? Just, uh, you know, and even our moderators, I mean, I'll read them eventually and I'll message them. But, you know, uh, honestly, I, I'm just not that. And for sure... Um, you know, I'm not reading my email every day. I mean, John reads them. You know, we read, of course, our business email, but I'm talking about my personal email. And, you know, I mean, that can be, well, gosh, uh, Audible had a great contest last year. I really wish I had read, read it, but, uh, you know, I missed it by a month because I just, I never read all that stuff. I get busy. I know you guys do too. So I'm just going to make this a little bit darker under here, just a little bit in here. Just give it a little bit more on the face here. Just make that a little darker. Give it a little more contrast, okay? So we, I think we got enough colors on that. Don't you guys think so? That's pretty good. Let's make it green. So here's some yellow and Alan, yellow blue. Our, our one male voice today besides myself. Hi, Alan. What is Ginger and John and Sammy's favorite artist-based movie? Mine's Frida. You like Frida? You like that no, movie? No, that's, that's what he said. Oh, he likes Frida. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have to think about that. I don't know. Um. Girl on the Pearl Earring was a really good movie, if you haven't seen that one. Girl Wearing the Pearl Earring, that was a really good one. And there's been some really good Van Gogh ones. That cartoon one out of Van Gogh was pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to just come up here like this and do the the ring here. I'll probably change brushes, right? Oh, no, um, Missy's asking, should people that are in the Academy stop sending packs while we're gone? No, you can keep sending the packs. This is we do not go anywhere where you can't do packs. I mean, why would we do we that? We don't go anywhere. We we if we can't do packs, we only pick cruises where when we're doing a cruise where we can do the internet and we can do packs. It takes us a while. I spend we never really ever truly go on a complete uh, uh, you know just John and I off doing our thing because we do three or four hours every day. We do personal art coaching. 
rain or shine. We do it. Sometimes I tell you on weekends when we're broadcasting at home, I may I tell you to give me a week to do them because sometimes, uh, you know, um, we may not have internet connection here or something can happen or we have a lot. Some, some days we have a few come in. Some days we have 30 or 40. Um, so, but everybody gets them done. And if you haven't heard from me in a week, let me know. And um, I will make sure that you got it or that sometimes I do it and uh, I'll do a pack and um, what we call them packs now, personal art videos. And, um, you know, personal for some coach. reason I can, and I'll go up on our, our YouTube account where we, where we make them available for privately for you guys over on Sammy's channel. And um, I can see nobody's even looked at them. So then I know that somehow they didn't get them. Here's a little, we're going to brighten that up here. Here, now I want to just, if this is dry, let's just dry this. Let's just be safe and dry that because I want to put the orange over there to put the bridle on the horse. Okay. Looks good though, doesn't he, so far? You guys were just worried about this, I know. So yeah, no, we, this is the whole idea. We wouldn't, uh, we do that. We, we're, we do um, what? We do not. We release we, videos. We never. We've re, we've been working. I did like six videos yesterday, and like four the day before. And I had colds, and I'm still working on them. And we'll work on videos all week long to make sure that we always have something for our members and for our YouTube uh, friends too. So we we don't ever stop. We we need these little breaks. But we've been looking forward to Alaska forever. So this will be really fun. Okay, hang on. I'm going to dry this. All right, while she's drawing that, I'd like to thank everybody for the donations that have been coming in today. And again, the personal art coaching will be going to a waiting list on June 1st, but you can still sign up and still get to all the wonderful, fantastic lessons. And as spots become available, we will notify you. Also, I want to just give a big shout out to Gold, the Golden Paint Company. I want, the reason I'm doing that, that Turned out that Alan, who just recently rejoined our academy after having to drop out because he was last uh, last year when the hurricane hit and uh, Houston, and you know we really had that worst flooding that they've ever had. Alan uh, lost his house and everything in it, and um, all his art supplies. And Golden sent him uh, about half the art supplies he needed to get going again. Apparently, his house has been restored, and he's now back ready to go. So congratulations. We're glad that you're okay. Um, incidentally, when I'm putting this on here, come up about a little bit from the nose, and it goes over the nose a little bit, see, like that. comes out from the nose, and you want to bring it around about even with the mouth and curve it like that, okay? For those of you who are wondering how to put this in, might as well just, I can tell you now or I can tell you in a pack, so let's just do it now, okay? So here's our... Here's our orange, and then I want to put, um, we're going to have something. This is what they call the brow band, and then the rest of the um, uh, bridle bridle goes. Ooh, I knew a horsey here, term. Knew a horsey term goes under here like that, and then he's got what they call a chin strap that goes under here like that, okay? So for those of you who've never done that, you know. I've never and done I had, that. When, on my horse, um, when I was breaking my horse, I used to say, I'd say the words, open, open. And what would I never do? would push the bridle in his mouth, the bit in his mouth. I would say, open, open. And then sometimes I'd give him some oats. I'd go, open, open. And he'd open his mouth for the oats. And then in the bridle went with the oats. Huh? Do they not like the bridle? Well, nobody likes the bridle, really. I mean, but they, they get used to it. They get over it. But I'm saying that that's what we used to do. And then I could always, after a while, you know, Pavlov's dogs, I could just say, open, open. And the mouth would go open and then the bridle would go. But then we never had a, we never had a struggle with it. Um, yes, actually, I did that when Cinnamon was little with vitamins too. When you had to give him the drops, I did that with her too. I'd go open, open. <laughs> that, uh, a little mouth would go open like a bird, and then it would go right. But you know, there's nothing more disconcerting than having people shove food at you when you're not ready to eat it or anything, right? Something you know that's not fun. So, anyway, so we're gonna come up here like this. Now, um, I'm Chris gonna Cirillo do. Chris says, "I loved your Starry Night painting." Oh, thank you. Thank Ginger you. Thank was an you. ace on that one. Thank you. And it was great fun to learn all about him, too, wasn't it? We're going to do something like this. Again, we apologize about the buffering, guys. We're clean at our end. Okay. All signals are clear, so it's got to be at the other end. So, look, this he's a little bit, um, you know, he's a little more fierce, this one. I like well, it. Well, this though. one looks a little bit more masculine. The first one looks like a girl. Yeah, this is probably. And that's typically what you do. 
Yeah. You do one, doesn't matter, but you do the opposite gender the second time you do it. Okay, so then I want to say that um, you got Ginger's a... Ginger's a horse whisperer. Yeah, I actually was. I was a world champion uh, competitive trail rider. Won the president stuff horse. and everything. And, and I had this horse that was just nutty. I mean, <laughs> and, and all my competitors knew it. It just so hacked them off that... Um, and you couldn't... I, I was afraid if we, we would do these competitive trail rides where you'd ride like 50 to 100 miles out in the woods and the vets would be there and the judges. And at night they'd come around by your trailer and... Um, uh, you know, and look at the horse to make sure the legs weren't swollen or the back didn't hurt and this kind of stuff. And um, I, he was really, uh, I was afraid he would just bite somebody and then I'd just lose. So I just, I never left him alone. I just took him with us. When I went visiting in camp to say hi to all my friends, the horse came with me so that when the judges needed to see him back at the trailer, I stood there and glared at him in case he even thought about biting somebody. <laughs> You know, really, honestly. And then the funniest thing was, I remember that because there was this gal named Marianna Woods, and I don't know if she's still alive or not, but she was great. And she was she lived in Kansas, and she worked as a horseshoer for the Girl Scouts and trail, you know, horse extraordinaire. And she'd do a lot of these competitive trail rides when she wasn't doing that. And she didn't own a horse trailer. She just owned a camper. Honestly, this is a true story. She just owned a camper. And um, if any of you saw men from, Man from Snowy River, I mean, she was like one of their cousins. I used to like, she had a long braid down and a big floppy hat and always kind of in coveralls. And she had this horse and she, she knew all of, you know, she was just really what I consider a real wrangler horse person. And um, her horse rode in the camper and it would just climb up this board. I mean, like a plank, like, 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 like pirate plank and walk into the, I mean, you just can't imagine how dangerous that is. And, and ride in the camper with her, you know, in the truck, you know. And I said, horses poop all over the floor. Um, I, why are, you know, and that, I, this seems so dangerous to me. And uh, not to mention, you know, traffic and all that stuff, right? And um, so she said, well, she explained it to him that she didn't want it to happen. And he just didn't. And, and she said, what you need to do, forget your horse. Because I was always afraid my horse was going to bite somebody or do something awful to them because he was that way uh very very athletic but you know his he um as one vet said he didn't have all the cups in the cupboard they talked about that you know his mental his faculties could have been better and um anyway uh she said read him the rule book i said do what now <laughs> do what now do what just read him the rule book and i you know i was desperate i said okay she said let him understand what the rules are you're playing I said, okay, so I'd sit out there, the trailer, and I'd be reading the rule book of competitive trail ride, Northwest Trail Ride Association, to the horse. People would walk by and just think, well, Ginger's lost it. You know what I mean? But, you know, listen, we were number one, so probably other people would start reading the rule book to their horses too, right? <laughs> but, but that's what Marianne would, and I thought anybody that could convince a horse not to poop in a trailer was on to something, you know? Because my horse, when he got into the trailer, he had a little helmet on so he wouldn't rear up and bump his head and knock himself out. <laughs> and if you put a carrot in the... He was so nuts. You put a carrot and didn't tell him what it was. You just <laughs> tossed a carrot in the manger in the horse trailer. He'd go nuts because he thought you'd thrown in a hand grenade. I don't know where he was in a past life, but obviously he was on some sort of war front because he was just very stressed, right? And um, um, anyway, so uh, that did work. So the, the horse figured out when the, um, when the contest was over. And then, um, then after that, all bets were off. But as long as the contest was on, and I explained when that was, then he was fine. And, and I know that just sounds really loopy, but, you know, it just happened to work. All right, so now I need to dry that before we do anything else. Does that make sense? Let's just take a second. John, you got any great things you can share with people while I dry this? Oh, I don't know. I'll come up with something. All right. Don't you think this is coming along? I actually like it better than this one, don't you guys? This one's nice, but I'm really liking this one. You know, whenever you do something twice, you can... Uh, I brought the eye up a little higher. See that? And it gave him more of a... Is there a color look. scheme we should or could use? Well, I mean, I did orange, but I think gold would have been very pretty. Remember, t think about your compliments, right? So turquoise and orange are compliments, right? But um, gold always looks nice, too. So, I mean, you could see what gold would look like on here. You know, take some pieces of colored paper and, you know, paint, paint some little spots of color 
on a piece of paper and just kind of hold it up here and there and see what you want. You know, carousel horses can be anything. He could, you could have done this as a light background and made him a really dark horse on gave him gold bridles. I mean, I mean, I guess if you were to Google carousel horses, you'd see that they come in all kinds of colors. They're just, it's fantasy time here, really big time. Okay, I guess why she's drawing that now. Um, the backgrounds that I do, I have been filming a couple of them, a few of them. Like I think I got four of them done. There's really five, but one of them doesn't have sound. I got to put music to that one too. Um, they can be found over on the Tech Bears channel of YouTube. Just search for the Tech Bear, and you can find his channel and those videos. Oh yeah, listen. If you're not a subscriber to the Tech Bear. You know, you're we, just we, not we, in the we, know. Yeah, I'm telling you what, John gets the best, does the best videos. They're really short, five, ten minutes. We don't do any ads on them. We're not trying to make any money on that channel. We're just, it's a public service for our, um, for our friends that follow us on YouTube and our Academy members and Facebook Club members. That's all it is. And, you know, he's got things on how to, how to use the Fire TV to watch your videos, YouTube videos, all that stuff. Great Fire tech TV, information. Yeah. How to use, I mean, you just can't believe the great information he has. Um, so look, isn't that just cool? I mean, that's just that's just dried. Now, again, I want to say for those of you who are looking for our Father's Day, uh, this will be our Father's Day painting. Well, that will be next week um, on YouTube. And we're not going to be live for two more. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow night at 7.30 Central. And after that, for the next two weeks, we won't be live, but we're releasing a lot of videos. And then in th uh, three Sundays from now, is that right, three Sundays? Well, you can ask me to pull up a calendar. Pull up a calendar because we'll tell you because we're going to change our time slot. I got to talking to my daughter, uh, Cinnamon, and we just felt it might work out better because um, uh, right now she's going to be going on right after us. She's going to be live at four o'clock right after us today, and we just uh, it just um, we kind of agreed on better time slots. So she'll probably go in the future. She'll be at um, uh, what what. Uh, well, no, we're moving to 3.30. On June 17th, we'll be going to 3.30 p.m. Central instead of 2.30. And what time will she be going? I'm not sure what she's decided. She's going to well, go... Currently, she's at 2. No, it's currently she's at 3. She's going to drop back to 2. She's going to drop back to 2 o'clock. But today, yeah. she'll be on at 4 o'clock. But you can always check her schedule. What we don't want to do is... We don't want to be... Conf we don't want to have a conflict there. Of any kind, I still have to have Thanksgiving with these guys. We, we don't want a conflict, and um, and also just it's we want you know she's got a great show, we've got a great show, we want everybody to benefit. So that's what we're doing. So and we don't want to have force you guys to pick between us. Yeah, because we know you love because, us both, and and yeah. and so um, and you know we we teach totally different things, and you can learn something. You know, you can certainly learn a lot of stuff from there. And I show her your her you her, her art brushes, which I think are marvelous. And so anyway. So I guess we need to know from the people that are overseas. That's that's our thing. That's is it going to bother you guys going an hour later? Yeah, because I mean we don't really I think we're. So really basically, gonna... right now, what time is? Yeah, right now we'd be going live. Yeah, right about now. So right now, still be watching. So anyway, right about. Well, now, yeah, because so. we're always five minutes late. No matter yeah. what I try, yeah. we're always late. All right, so that's that's our, our public service announcement. So you guys, so look for time change. Mondays will still say at seven thirty. Central. All right. That's kind of insane. so. Now the reason I, I changed brush, I changed, um, I dried this was because I wanted to do some yellow, and um, uh, maybe a little gold, white and gold, a little yellow too. Just mix them together, um, and I wanted to just um, put this up here again, and then his bits kind of going this way, and this way, and that way, like that, and then um, I was gonna do. Like, you know, you can really decorate this a lot more than I did, okay? But I'm doing this like that. See, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yes and yes. Mm, a little bit of squigglies here, too. Okay, so there's there's that. We'll probably have to do a second coat on that. Then I'm going to take some white and phthalo blue and yellow and make this pretty green. This really pretty, as opposed to an ugly green, all right? Well, I we used don't to want have an this, ugly green. I had this agent one time, Hadriana, and she'd be she'd be telling me all the artwork she wanted, and um, she'd say, "Do that pretty blue like you did last time." I'm going, you know, 
what, all the other blues are ugly? I mean, be a little more specific. But she could, well, I just like that blue you did last time. Well, you know, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast yesterday. I hardly remember what I given her the week before. Finally, I got her a color chart and I said, give me, and you know, like they give you at the paint chip store. I said, find the number on the blue you want. Tell me and I'll look it up. So here we go. Now, Ooh, June right 17th here. is Father's Day. What better way than to celebrate it with us? Yeah, see, there you go, right? So uh, when are we going to be back on Father's Day? Yeah. We'll be back on Father's Day. All right. And it'll be late enough where Dad won't be mad if you boogie out. and um, <laughs> <laughs> Like it's Mother's Day and Haiti Day, so I don't think we're seeing Andrew, right? No. You know, I mean, I don't no, see No, that's what I was saying for at least have Alan. And I mean, then I, I thought I'm that, you know, anybody. and I thought, well, this is a good one. Probably horses aren't. Well, Andrew had horses as a kid, so he might have liked this. Oh, Elsa in Iceland's not real happy about it because that means it's going to be 830 for her. That's a bit late, but since it's only Sunday's work for me, we'll make it do. Okay, sorry, Elsa. I guess we'll catch the recording later. All right, so here, I've got a little green here that we thought, and then um, maybe make a little darker green. Alan wants to know what's up with my surgery. Alan, it's all over and done with, buddy. I'm all better. Yeah, and boy, what, what a thing. I'm so glad that John got his surgery and all fixed up. He's all better. And thank you very and much for everybody that contributed during our auction. Oh, yeah, because that, that helped, helped the cover bill. the sur sur surgeries. Yeah, that was huge. So thanks very much, guys. Because some of us do guys. not have insurance. We go by the cuff. Yeah, I'm telling you what. Just, not everybody. People don't realize that. But did you know, even if you're on a med... Well, John is not on Medi uh, on so Social Security. But even if you... if you're Even if when you reach 60, 65 in this country, not everybody qualifies for Social Security and not everybody gets um, um, uh, Medicare. And, oh, people are shocked. That's yeah, true. it's a I'm great system gonna, we've got here. Yeah, not so much, right? But, not um, so much. All right, so we're going to just add a little bit of color here. This buffering is unbelievable today. Mine keeps buffering. And again, we're looking good on our side. I will look at it after the show. This will be pieced together, but it will jump around a lot. All right, so we're sorry about that. So a little bit of white here. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you think we're nifty, that would be great. Let's do a little pink. Now, pink is going to, here's the way you might not want to do pink. If you want to keep this masculine, keep all the pink out of the painting, okay? You could go with more, maybe more of, of, a, of a, a purple blue color if you wanted to do that and not pink. Let me show you the difference. Uh, you you want to just, um, if you want to keep it kind of masculine looking, then avoid pink, all right? How's that? So people say what kind of colors. Here, and we'll put some of this darker purple down here. And I don't think we need to do a lot more to this. I think we're pretty good on this. Although you could do, um, this, you know, this is where your Posca pins, this is where your Posca pins can come in really handy because you can, um, people are going, what are you talking about? Well, for those of you who are not aware of Posca pins, uh, I used to, there, I used to use, um, you know, like the Sharpie oil painting pens, but then once that, but I never got a lot of use out of them because they dried up after the first use, never got a lot of use out of them. But these Posca pens, we had these for months, and you see me use the same ones. We haven't bought any more. I mean, they're amazing, and they stay, because they don't dry for about five minutes, they don't dry in the tip, all right? So you kind of pump them like that, and then I'm going to just, if you want to be a little bit neater, you know, this is a sock folder trick, right? You could come in here with the pens, and now you could do some lot, a lot neater stuff on here than um, uh, that would be maybe a little bit easier to use than um, than if you were trying to do this with a brush, right? You still have the horse on the um, blackboard, right? Um, <coughs> yeah. Do you still have the the other the other horses we've got? No, the horse that you drew, we've had several requests. Can you show on the blackboard how to make that into a unicorn? Oh, yeah, I sure can. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Don't you like all the extra decorations? And I know, for instance, and I know for sure that um, you could come up with a better decor than I just thought of, right? I mean, I'm just saying I, I, I have great confidence in you that, um, and you know, you could just... Uh, you know, this is where your imagination goes, and you could add a few little, if you needed a little more squigglies in here and wanted a little bit more loose, like that, just add a little bit with the pen, and that's just way cool. So 
So if you want to make this into a unicorn, I'll show you. We have the blackboard down here. Let me see if I can get it. Well, I hope you can get it. You're the one to put it there. Yeah, but it's on the floor, and that's a whole new... Oh, load. laid over? Yeah, it fell flat on the floor, man. Well, I can't apologize enough for that happening. I know it. So you should, too. Just feel bad. All right, so look. Let me just show you what this looks like. Let's just take it off up here like that, and look at that. Isn't that not cool? Isn't that pretty? So, I mean, that's, I think that's a neat-looking painting myself. And the reason we did all this stuff up here in the top, I just want to say that real quick. The reason we did all that was to, you know, if you go to a carousel, they have all these lights and stuff. So that's why I, I kind of did some brighter colors up in here like this and did something up in here so that you got the feeling of the energy of the carousel. That makes sense? And again, you could just... Um, um, you could really... You could really spend some time on the decor, but that's the fun part of this. And uh, you put somebody's name on the on the bridle, even. You know, if you were going to give this to somebody. Now you said, what about making this into a a unicorn? Well, um, I would probably come out about right here above the eye and come out this way. And then you want to curve it. You want it like a narwhal. You want to curve it like that. Hmm? Oh, look at that buffering right on the unicorn. Did it buffer? Or maybe yep. I wouldn't make it that long. Maybe I'd stop it right I about got the, there. I got the first vertical line. Oh, there it goes. Here, so they well, stop it, it right about there. So and all of a sudden it's done. So there you go. And then, then, your, then your main's going to go over part of this in your forelock. That's your forelock, in case anybody wonders. And then here's your main like that. Okay? So if you wanted to do... Um, uh, a unicorn horn that's probably do it about like that okay I think that would look pretty good because it's gonna it's gonna come out right here it can't go this way it has to go up kind of pointed that way I guess we could do one should we make one of these a unicorn doesn't matter we've got two why don't we do that should we make the, I don't want to do this room? one yeah I, I don't want to do this one but I think I might make this one a unicorn just see is that the see. first one there that's the first one Here's you want to draw it on one. first to make sure it'll fit well, we could do that. John still gets a worried. He gets up, but this, this is all dry, so I could take it off if it didn't. See? Well, that's not, that's not even a unicorn. That's a bump on his head. <sighs> Sigh. I would so probably start it off with um, kind of an ult ultramarine blue and white. Okay? And I would come this way with it. Start it off do. blue. I'm zoom in on it. What's that? I'm zooming in on it. Okay, it's start it off blue. And I'm um, going to kind of make sure my brush is a little damp because my paint's dried out. It's all right. I put a fan on here, so that's what happens when you run a fan. Somebody else is running a, a humidifier in their art studio, which I thought was very clever. Don't you think that? That's a great yeah. idea. Now I'm going to come so up here Houston, like this. It's pretty humid already. This like this. And make the little bumps like that. Bring it around. Okay, something like that. And somebody says, "How do you do a unicorn?" And then um, just kind of a little shadowing. A little shadowing like that. Maybe make that a little darker underneath. Okay. Never hurts to. Okay. Then I would still probably put at least one. One hair over. That's two hairs. Yeah, something like that. That looks good. But that's um, that's how you do it. Let's see how we look. There you go. And you might want to make this gold too. I made it blue, but you could make this gold wouldn't look bad either. Now that I'm giving it some thought. Gold would not be shabby either, gold and white. So you'd have to decide. I, I've kept it all the same colors. So somebody says, how do you make a unicorn? There we go. Do you have that paint? You know that painting, that long painting we've got with the wild horses? Do you have that one, John? It's on the wall back there. Let me show I that. I just might. I want to show you another painting. We have, if you've got some horse paintings, just grab a few. 
We've got some great horses on our website. Really, besides the, if you came in late, this is one of our carousels. One of our er, easy oh, kind of one cookie. Seen, one, one, the last the carousel horse. I want the long ones, the abstract ones on the long one, and maybe the any horse paintings you can find. So these, this is really easy. You can put the person's name there. I put, uh, we had somebody. I think I told some you earlier guys that I put. Um, I put Honey, my granddaughter, and me, but, you know, somebody gave this as a wedding present, did a lot more detail than I did, and then added um, uh, the couple's names as, as a gift. So, uh, so you know, so I thought that was really sweet, and, I, you know, um, but again, we've got, um, you've got, I think what, you, you know, you can, you can just you know, make it a little darker under here like that. Okay, there you go. Just a little bit there, a little bit lighter right here. Oh, wonderful. So if you like horses, if you're into horses and you like this. I and know where um, the, the one is. The, well, the, the big one. Uh, well, there's in the hall in the frame, there's that one, that white one, the white stallion. This is one we just did uh, oh, for our Academy one. members, a horse member, if you're a member of the Art Academy. We gave you a traceable for this. And just uh, the original drawing, uh, it's called Dapple Gray, came from the 1500s. And this one I really like. This is another Academy lesson. This is a very abstract group of horses and using real gold paint. And, the, the, you know, so if so you like. That's the gold I would use on the unicorn. Yeah, this, yeah, I would use this real metallic gold on the unicorn horn. And then if you did that, then you probably want to put it on the bridle and add it to touches in a few places. Instead of white, maybe you might want to go back here. We did white, but you might, might want to touch these little white dots with um, gold, right? Go over the white with some gold, you know, something like that. If you wanted to do that, yeah, yeah. So we have, um, oh man, we've got some great. I mean, I'm telling you what, we have. I think we have some great horse paintings. You're gonna have to really zoom out for this one. He's gonna zoom out for this. It's gonna take some doing to show you this because this was like, what, 16? This is 24 by. 24 by 20, I believe. Mm -hmm. I flop it up there so I see what kind of room I got. What do you got? Do you see this? There we go. Can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see the whole thing like that. Yeah. Can you see that? That's one of our lessons, and this is sort of a fantasy horse if you like this kind of thing. That and was the, really two lessons in one. Yeah, you could do it. You could do in white or dark, and then I see in the clouds we've got all these horses kind of running down from the steam and all that stuff. So, um, if this was something that you kind of think you might like. Again, this is in the academy. When you have over 375 art lessons, we've got stuff for everybody, really, and all kinds of things to do. So it's just not one style. It's just not old dead people. It's uh, you know old dead artists that were famous. It's just not flowers. It's not horses. It's still us. It's all kinds of stuff. So um, so I'm going to start our uh, quick um, painting giveaway real quick. Are you going to bother? Well, you know what I said. You know the thing is, is I said that we wouldn't do it, but then I, I realized that we had advertised we will, right? So probably want to do do that real quick, John. Alrighty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to these. These will end up eventually being in our auction. So we're not giving these away, but I'll put these out of the way. We're gonna do some little ten minute thing that just uh, looks fun to do. What do you think, right? I think it's a great idea. So we're going to do something fun to do, just some little 10-minute thing. And incidentally, don't forget that this is going to be our auction piece of, for the month, starting June 1st. We're going to do a little painting every month um, in our art auction, besides four times a year for the big, the larger collections. Showing you that. Now, all right, so we're going to just, as we're talking, I'm going to just go ahead and answer some questions um, as we're talking. So feel free to... Um, Shout them out. Shout them out while I'm doing this. I guess you guys told me the secret word was, oh, carousel. Carousel is the secret word. Now, this is just for our live viewers. Um, what time is it getting to be, John? I've got uh, 10 minutes to 4. All right, so we're going to do this in 10 minutes. The sentiment will be on. We want to be done before she gets on. So um, we've got we to gotta hustle, you guys. They're going to be on in 10 minutes, and we want to make sure that we're done before she gets on there, right? So that's that's good, right? That's great. So we're gonna do in fact I think we'll start the drawing now. Enter. We're gonna start the drawing in five minutes. And so that um we can, you know, you can we're gonna close the entries for the drawing in five minutes, even if I'm not done. 
and then we'll so we're because well, we're gonna be a fast one today. This is gonna be a fast one. We're gonna close the show at uh, four o'clock. So you guys, one way or the other, we're gonna get this done, right? Um, how's that? We're gonna do that real quick. Okay. Everybody, give the link. Yep. There you go. Everybody's link. So if you want to be entered into this. Um, do it now. Yes, again, we're going to we're going to do the drawing in five minutes, right before four, and uh, see what we can do here with that. Oh. John asked Ginger who her favorite artist is of all times, all times. Oh, um, that'd be me. Um, I guess not. Maybe Sammy. Of all times, I don't think that's really fair. It's just I think my <laughs> fair, my one of my favorite artists. I'll tell you, I have two favorite favorite um, American artists, and one was Howard Barons. He's passed away, and the other is Kent Wallace. Those are two of my favorite ones, favorite guys. Okay, and uh, really like them a lot. And I loved and I, my style is based a lot. They're probably probably the best question is who was your biggest influence, right? And I would have to say that that was, uh, you know, how, you know, those guys were my biggest influence as far as, uh, you know, you know, what I wanted to paint and all that stuff, right? Uh, the, the Howard Behrens, B-E-H-R-E-N-S, and um, Kent Wallace. The, those, they were all about color. And uh, some years ago, uh, IHOP, uh, they'd taken the paintings out now, but they decorated with a lot of Kent Wallace's art. You probably saw it then. And, and again, Howard Behrens was... Um, was an amazing artist. I, uh, I own one of his originals, and um, it's a great story how I ended up with that. So, okay, so I like this t sort of two tone. Um, Ooh, it looks like a little red, white, and blue action for the holiday. Oh, kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it just it sure does, doesn't it? But uh, it does right now. It does right now, but we'll have to change that because it's not going to quite be that, right? Carousel is the secret word of the day. And we're buffering like crazy, so I'll have to say it again. Carousel, you guys, the secret word of the day. And if there's not going to be a, a if done. there's not a lot of entries in this, that is because carousel, secret of the day. Not a lot of entries today. I mean, this is going to be a. This is a fast one because I said, you know, I mean, we're going to get off by we're going to get, get off, off by four minutes, because you got to go watch cinnamon, right? So there you go, right? So you talk to her after we talk to John? No, but I talked to John. He 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 said they they were changing it to um to um. Four today? Four today. That's what they said they were doing. So that's fine, right? No, we're trying to be team players here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm asking who their favorite ODG is. And she thought it said, I thought that said dog. <laughs> <laughs> so she put Brandy. Who's, who's oh, your favorite dog? Yeah, that was so funny. Uh, I love you guys. You know, you bring a smile to our face, no matter what we do. Hey, am I right about the sanding of the canvas, people? I, I stress yeah, the that sanding, too, the sanding of the canvas makes a big difference. It really oh, does. It just huge. makes it so much smoother to try and draw on like that. It beats and, um, trying to paint on sandpaper, because that's what you're doing. It does. It beats John, one of your own conies, it looked like two people kissing. It was number five. That's the last one I did. I think she already covered that one over. It's gone. Yeah, it probably is gone, right? So, uh... I did keep my other one, though. My abstract here. I should share my abstract with the fan. I kept that one. It's been shellac. Keep that? Okay. Oh yeah, this is isn't this gorgeous? This is John's abstract from just uh, the extra paintings. I don't have a lot of time to show it because I got to keep painting this because we're. I love it, John. Though it's absolutely oh, that's great. That's all right. No, I'm second fiddle around here. No, you're not. I'm just no, trying to get this third, done by. We're third wheel, aren't we, we're just, Sammy? just 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 trying we to get this done by by four o'clock, you guys. Yes, I said we I'd get want this wine done. with our cheese. All right, so we're gonna give away um you know the sample sample tub of towels, all right? right? What? Sample tub of towels. Of okay, packets. first first person is going to get the painting, and then and a tub of towels, then, and a tub of towels. Yep. Ooh, and then and we'll then, draw two more names for the tub of towels. towels. All right. Oh, quiet. 
<laughs> Man, I'm telling you what. Just hey, Eric to, showed to, up to, and made a donation. Uh, hey, thank Eric, you very much, Eric, just in time. Thank you, everybody that's you know doing that for us. We Question, really appreciate it. On the it. little paintings, are you using the canvas paper from... It's canvas. It's called Paramount Canvas. We do it's not use canvas, canvas paint. It's, it's real canvas. We do not we use do not the use fake paper. stuff. Right? We do not use the fake stuff. No fake stuff. Sorry. We do not use the fake stuff. All right. Start your drawing, you guys. Okay. Here we go. We're shutting down the window. You had we a gotta chance. we got to do it because we got to get out of here. We're getting out by. We're, we're going. Last call. Five, four, three, two. I get an echo here. One. Dee, dee, dee. Are you asking Alexa? Not yet. I got to get him over here. I guess I'm the guy. Sheesh. Don't rush, my girl. Okay. I have got, ooh, 183. Well, you guys were Johnny on the spot there. No kidding, right? We've got to force them. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 183. Your random number between 1 and 183 is 1. What? One, she did it again. One got it. Wow. All right, Christine Riley. Wow, congratulations, Christine. You want me to make a note of that? Yep, Christine Riley, number one. All right, Christine Riley, number one. Okay, Alexa, I need a number between one and 183. Your random number between one and 183 is 118. 118. Joyce Monroe is a tub of towels. All right, Joyce. Tub Joyce Monroe, tub of towels. Okay. Yeah, Alexa, uh, I need a number between 1 and 183. Your random number between 1 and 183 is 143. 143. Julie Vickers. You get a tub Julie of Vickers, you got the other tub of towels. If your name was called during this exciting promo, please use the contact us form on the gingercooklive.gallery website and give us your mailing address and say that you're a big winner and you're thrilled to death. Anybody hear me? Anybody I think, care? I think, I think they care, John. Nobody cares. Did I buffer I, out? I don't think you did. Do not think you buffered out. You don't think I buffered out? I don't think you All right, people, out. it's 3.59. We are going to have to buzz because we don't want to step on other people's toes. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Yeah, Sammy I, is napping today. He was up late working on the videos. So um, uh, I'm going to sign this. This is, uh, you know, the white um, white crockery here. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this. I like and, that. Uh, it's not bad for a holiday red, white, and blue that you said, I don't do red, white, and blue. And you didn't even know you were doing it, and you did it. I didn't know I was doing it, and I did it. Thanks, everyone. We're going to look at the buffering issue to see if there's something we can do on our side. But as far as I can tell, they shouldn't have been doing it. Because YouTube, according to their specs, says we had a good feed. Well, it's awful when they don't want to admit their mistake, doesn't it? Please type out the winner's name. You think I have the right keyboard in the right spot? You think they're the easy people? Okay. All right. Do Here's the red slash, right? Here's the red slash. We're still on. We haven't. Uh... No. Whoa. We're not on, or we are on? No, you're still on, because they want me to type them up to make sure we get everybody. Okay. All right. So I think that came out pretty good, don't you? Kind of looks like some of those dried flowers we used to do flower arrangements for, you know? Uh, if you're a tot winner, you're a tub of towel winner. -E. Yeah. Tot. Tot. Tubble towel tot. winner. Okay. And if you do not want the tubble towel winners, let us know, and we'll, we'll send them we're to the next... We'll just random to send them to them and let them know they're a winner. Okay. Okay. So now you everybody saw their name in print too. Look at that, huh? Are we team players here or what? Okay. So let us know what you think and how you like them. All right. So that's our um, 
that's our our painting, you guys. And we want to thank you for uh, watching. And, that's um, our painting. That's our show. We got to go. Got to go. Have uh, have fun, you guys. Bye. <laughs> that's our fastest exit yet. Bye, everyone. Somewhere we have a thumbnail. There we go. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.